way that we can demonstrate that Torah is eternal and supersedes covenant by comparing the Old Covenant with the New Covenant. In the Old Covenant, it was a covenant with the one true God. In the New Covenant, it's a covenant with the one true God. There was a high priest and a king in the Old Covenant. There's a high priest and a king in the New Covenant as well. There was blood ratification and sacrifice for sin in the Old Covenant. There's blood ratification and sacrifice for sin in the New Covenant. It's the blood of Yeshua. There was a temple in the Old Covenant. There's a temple in the New Covenant, and it's the body of believers, and God dwells among His people. There was a land and a kingdom in the Old Covenant, and now it's the world. And there was circumcision of the flesh in the Old Covenant, and now it's circumcision of the heart. So when we compare the principles of the Old Covenant with the New, we see how Torah supersedes that and is eternal.